Hi folks, good to see everybody today. Hey Gordon, good to see you. I'm here with Carney the Legoto dog. She's with me today doing noonday prayer. You are, aren't you? Yeah, you're doing noonday prayer. And we are in Monteagle, Tennessee, where I was able to come this weekend to our family cottage to spend Father's Day with my three daughters and the rest of my family, and that was great. Hey, Barbara, nice to see you. Good to see everybody. We're going to start Noonday Prayer here. If you're, uh, if you're in the Book of Common Prayer, we're on page 103. And uh, I think it's 103. I don't have it with me. I'm doing it online. So if you're online, like I am, it's bcponline.org. Hey, Amanda. And um, you can uh, then touch um, daily, the daily office and then order of service for noonday. So we are doing noonday prayer from Mont Eagle, Tennessee today. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. So let's do Psalm 119. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself, and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Thanks be to God. Our reading this morning is from Matthew chapter 19. Then the little children were being brought to him in order that he might lay hands on them and pray. The disciples spoke sternly to those who brought them. But Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs. And he laid his hands on them and went on his way. Then someone came to him and said, Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? And he said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He said to him, Which ones? And Jesus said, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, honor your father and mother. Also, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, I have kept all these, what do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go, sell your possessions, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Then the young man heard this word. When the young man heard this word, he went away grieving, for he had many possessions. Here ends the reading. So, what we have in this gospel today is um, a real contrast that Matthew sets up between the little children coming to Jesus uh, in order that he might lay hands on them and pray, the children being brought to him. Um, and he said, let the little children come to me and do not stop them for such as these that the kingdom, uh, to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs. And the very next thing that Matthew gives us is this story about the rich young ruler. Um, who was someone who kept the commandments and tried really hard to be faithful. Um, and he, he clearly um, uh, wanted to specifically know which commandments he was to keep. 
uh, and he said he kept them all, but yet he could not uh, let go of his possessions. So what Matthew's setting up here is this contrast between the utter dependence of children uh, on, on certainly their parents, but in a bigger sense, the utter dependence of all of us on God. Um, and, uh, and Jesus holds up a little child um, and, uh, and uses them as a great example of this dependence that children have uh, that is uh, pure and holy. And yet, even if this uh, rich young ruler can keep all the commandments, uh, he cannot be utterly dependent on God because he has many possessions and he relies, he's dependent upon his possessions. It says a lot to us about uh, taking stock of our possessions and what, uh, what is important to us and ultimately who and or what we are utterly dependent upon. Amen. Continuing now with our prayers. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, and to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So in our prayers this week, we pray especially for Joel Baxley, Avery Browning, Jerry Buck, Amy Campanetti, Jamie Drummer, Thomas Frazier, Ann Hansen, Beverly Hogan, Jimmy Hunter, Alex Hutchins, Gordon and Kay Irwin, Jenkins Family, Keith Kelly, Ellen Lovett, Sam McNutt, Anita Medlock, Jan Neese, Sue Pyers, Demi Perez, George Pipes, Kathy Schutman, Martha Williamson, and Bill Wood. In our ongoing prayers, we pray for Lida Barrett, Paul Bergeron, Charles Garys, Becky Hare, the Nelson family, Ned and Beth Patterson, Sue Ellen Rail, Carmen and Ryan Smith, and Melanie Staten. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. The blessing of God be upon you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And Carney is going to say goodbye. Carney, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Carney loves noonday prayer. Okay, yeah, you're a good girl. All right, everyone. God bless you all. See you all soon. Stay safe.